Well, what we're dealing with here, as you heard Mairead McGuinness, some of you talking earlier about this, we've been, we've been engaging in this issue for weeks and weeks um, um, out in Brussels and Strasbourg. And what becomes clear is that you are weaving together two very different systems, the atmospheric and climate system and the political system. You're trying to get a deal uh, together, which really they're qualitatively different and somehow this is going to have to happen and there are huge complexities involved. In fact, I don't believe we have the models uh, to deal with this at this particular moment in time. Because we will have them eventually. Um, but not at this particular moment in time. So what you see is uh, when you try to uh, mitigate in one area or adapt the issue of biofuels is an example, something goes wrong in another area. So we're going to have to wait until uh, we see the really big picture involved here. Uh, what are the issues for the EU? The, issue, the minister has already talked about um, age to developing countries, 22 to 50 billion. The EU share may be 30 billion. Where is it going to come from? Public finance, private finance, carbon markets. Uh, we're going to have to decide these things. Renewable energy has to be a big part of this, and um, all countries have renewable energy action plans in the EU at the moment, and they need to be uh, strengthened. Uh, the, the view from business might surprise you. Business Europe, for instance, and other uh, business organisations, they want predictability. They want to know, they want binding agreements. They don't, they, they're not anti-climate uh, change solutions, but they want to know what's going to happen. And that's one of the things we have to take care of um, in Copenhagen. Uh, the um, European Trade Union Confederation, for instance, believes that we've grossly underestimated the employment aspects of the negotiations and that we need to have more policies aimed at developing jobs explicitly talked about in, uh, in Copenhagen. Uh, will it succeed? Um, we don't know if there will be a binding agreement at this point in time in December. If there isn't, the, the crucial crucial um, task ahead would be to keep the momentum going. Because the American political system, for instance, would require 67 votes in the Senate to pass a climate change bill. I think that may not be possible. So we have to keep the momentum going, and the EU has a big role to play there um, as a mediator and as a negotiator. And I think that's what I'm looking at the moment. We hope that there will be a legally binding agreement. If there isn't, we must keep the momentum going after December. Thanks very much.